Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NewCoder.com and in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about what middleware is and how we can create our own custom middleware. So middleware is basically the code that gets executed between the user request and the server itself. Now in the previous tutorials, we already used a middleware and that middleware was within the body parser module. So if you take a look at our express application, on line five, we say app.use, and then as an argument, we pass in a function. And this function is a middleware function that when the user makes a request, this function will take the user's request and process it. In this case, the body parser.json function checks to see if the user sent any JSON data, processes it, and then attaches it to the request.body. And then it calls a function called next to let the server know that, hey, we're done processing this request. You can send another request. So to get started, we're just going to go down here. I'm going to say app.use. And then we're going to pass in our own middleware function that's going to get executed whenever the user makes a request. So this should be very familiar. We're going to pass in the first parameter is going to be the request object the response, and then the final parameter is going to be the next method. So now we already are familiar with the request object and the response object. So what is this next method? This next method must be invoked whenever you create a custom middleware. So what the next method is responsible for is to let Express know that, hey, I'm finished processing this request. If you do not call the next method, what's going to end up happening is you're going to time out the server because it has no idea whether or not you're finished processing the request or not. So right now I'm just going to say next and we're just going to call it. And to make things a little bit more interesting, let's actually go up here and I am going to print out the request dot URL and the request dot method. So now if I was to save this, let's actually restart the server. So I'm just going to hit control C node app. I'm going to go to Chrome. I'm going to hit refresh. Now when I hit refresh, what I did was make a get request to the server. So let's actually take a look at Visual Studio Code to see what happened. And you can see that our middleware is running. So we made a request. It gives us the URL. It gives us the method of the request. So we made a get request when we hit refresh. And then we said next, which let Express know that, hey, he's done processing this. And then it got to this point where we just sent res.send middleware onto the user. So that's why you see that we got this. Now let's change this up. So instead of saying forward slash, because we got a get route there, let's just make something up. Now, if I hit enter, you can see cannot get whatever this route is, but that's okay because we're not interested in that. We're only interested in the middleware for this tutorial. And you can see once again that our middleware is running fine. So whenever there's a request made from the user, this middleware function is going to get executed. And you can see that our route was printed out and the type of request was also printed out onto the console. Now this is all fine and dandy, but as we have it right now, whenever we use app.use and we have our middleware, any user request is going to get processed by this middleware. Let's say that I only want this middleware to execute when a certain route gets requested. So right here, I'm just going to go here and I'm just going to say example, and this is going to be our route. And now whenever we call this example route, it could be any type of request. It could be a get request, post request, put, delete, doesn't matter. This middleware is going to execute. 
But if it doesn't match this example route, then it's not going to execute. So let's save this. And I'm just going to hit Control C, Node App, start this up again. And now I'm just going to hit Refresh. Go back to Visual Studio Code. And you can see that our middleware is not executing. But if I go up here, type example, go back to Visual Studio Code, and you can see that our middleware is executing just fine. And the last thing that you should note that middleware functions can do is modify the request object and the response object. So going back to our body parser example, it parses the user's request and searches for JSON and then attaches it to the request.body. So to give a trivial example, I can say, take the user's request and I can add a property called banana. And I could assign it the value of banana. And for the sake of simplicity, since we already have this route here, we're just going to get rid of all this and within our get route, we're just going to say console.log request.banana. So let's end that with a semicolon. Let's double check everything. And this looks good. So I'm just going to save this. And we're going to restart the server, node app. We're going to go to Chrome. And we're going to hit our root. And there we go. If we go back to Visual Studio Code, you can see what's going on here. We made a request to the server. The server did some processing, the same thing that body parser did, and then adds to the request object. In this case, we just added banana, gave it a value of banana. And then here, when we got the request from our get route, you can see that we get the output of banana. So that's pretty much the ins and outs of how you can create your own custom middleware and how middleware works in general.